Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose Chongondu, owner and CEO of Makeup by Rose. Um, I've been a makeup artist for the past 12 years and I started my training three years into my career and some of the things that I get or most of the questions that I get from people is how do I get started in the makeup industry? How do I become a makeup artist? What are the challenges and stuff like that? So I actually made a few notes uh, to to teach you guys you know it's very important before you get in, into any um, career for you to understand you need to know the pros and cons okay so today I wanted to talk about getting started as a makeup artist the industry okay so who is an artist who is a makeup artist most people do not know the difference between between a beautician between a hairstylist between a makeup artist between a consultant you need to understand the difference so a makeup artist is someone who offers makeup artistry services you know uh, makeup artists actually help enhance how a woman looks using makeup products not uh, both skincare and makeup products a makeup artist is someone who who has an eye for beauty you know someone who looks at a woman and knows like the strong points if if they look at your face like your structure your structure they know what to do a makeup artist also helps boost the esteem of any woman who let's say for example going to a wedding you have lots of spots in your face i know what to do so personally i've been a makeup artist for the past 12 years almost 13 and it's been an amazing experience it has its ups and downs and i feel like it's very it's about time that i started sharing my journey i started sharing like the things that i know as an artist and apart from being a makeup artist i'm also a very uh, good business woman and i run the first makeup school in Kenya and I love my students with all my heart and most of my students being females, being women, they go through challenges, you know, every woman goes through challenges but I feel like women in the beauty industry go through so many challenges so you need to know how to tackle this. So that's what I'm going to teach you today. Welcome back. So uh, right now I want to, to explain to you like what to expect, what is the, what is the beauty industry, you know the beauty industry is huge. There's so much you can do in the beauty industry. We have hair, we have nails, we have makeup, okay? Which is my thing, and, and most people love makeup. So the beauty industry is beautiful, it is huge. That's the one thing you need to remember. The other thing about the beauty industry, it is full of women, okay? I, I, I like being honest. Women are very good people. <laughs> but they can give you a very hard time. Especially being a makeup artist, you're giving your services to women. So expect to make very good friends and very many enemies. I'm just being real. Uh, so for me, um, I'll talk about my personal uh, experience for, for just a few seconds. For me, being a makeup artist, when I started, the industry wasn't very nice to me. Number one, because I was a startup. Uh, so I had, I had a hard time making friends because everyone was trying to, you know, close the doors for me, you know, just put up walls for me, but I just, and then I was a very, very shy girl, eh, when I started, I've been here for almost 13 years, so you can see that, if you calculate, that's a long time ago, but now the industry has changed, still very many people, even more challenging, so it, if you know how to go about it, it is the most beautiful, the most rewarding industry you will ever be involved with, so for you, uh, as a makeup artist, as an upcoming makeup artist, if you decide to get started in the beauty industry or as a makeup artist, do not look back. Just put down a plan and get started. Now, you know you love makeup, you love to be in the makeup industry. How do you get started? How do you turn your passion into an actual business? First of all, you need to get training, professional training. In training, uh, apart from learning the makeup artistry, art itself you also learn about the industry all the things that i'm telling you you learn about product knowledge you learn skincare you learn how do you talk to your clientele how is so much okay so if you know you have passion in in the makeup industry number one get training like i said and then number two you need to do a lot of research even after the training do a lot of research and then there's so many ways so many places that you can work as a makeup artist you can work as a bridal makeup artist you can work as a media makeup artist you can work as a creative uh, makeup artist that's like the arts the body art and stuff like that 
you can work, you can, there's so much that you can do, you can combine them all and just, just be an all-rounded makeup artist. You just have to know what you like. To stop looking at what other people are doing. It's alright to like stalk makeup artists on Facebook and stuff like that, but you need to look deep inside you and see what you like doing. The makeup industry is so huge, so beautiful, and it is so rewarding. It is a multi-billion dollar industry, so you can tap into that. So if you know what you want to do, do your research, do your homework. And I always say you need to have a mentor. You know, look, who do you look up to? Who do you love? Like, who do you follow? Let's say, for example, uh, like for me, when I started, there are a couple of people that, that, that I would watch, and one of them was Susie Wokabi. You know, I loved that she started her own makeup uh, line and that's one of the things that I wanted to do so she actually became one of my mentors so find someone and a mentor for those that don't know what a mentor is a mentor is someone who has the same interest who does the same thing that you want to do been there done that so it's someone that you can actually fall back on when things go south you know when you get started and you get stuck you need advice and stuff like that look for a mentor so remember what I said you need to learn the makeup industry it is huge if you don't learn it if you don't do your research you will get confused and then get started on your passion so uh in my own experience uh as a makeup artist the makeup industry has really helped me i've come from far for those that know my story um makeup completely changed my life i've met so many people so apart from just living your passion you will get to make so many friends you will get to grow even as a business person you get to interact with so many people uh, every every day every week every month and then for me like for me i feel like the makeup industry actually made me more vocal you know it made me see life in a more beautiful way so for those that want to start the makeup industry there's so much in store for you and for those that keep saying there's too many makeup artists out there, trust me, the makeup industry is like a pie. Only a small portion has been taken. So anyone who has the passion actually can get space. So don't, don't give up on your passion. Don't give up on your dream. And uh, I decided to make this session today very, very, uh, very short, not very long like the last one. But we'll have a follow-up session where I'll explain more about my own career and like the, 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 my experiences, the lessons that I've learned, that you can apply to your own life and to your own you know, journey as, as a uh, startup makeup artist. And I hope uh, you can always write your comments down below or just reach out to us. We are located um, at the old Mitchell building, Kimadi Street, that floor suit 327 we are makeup by rose on facebook on twitter on instagram everywhere you can find us and thank you so much for watching and i look forward to speaking to you next time thank you bye bye